Hi guys, and welcome to Strength Universe. Before we start, I'd like to say thanks to N Baldwin45 for suggesting a video about the strength of the late road warrior animal. I'd like to point out that I've evidenced this video carefully to ensure it contains no copyrighted material. Joseph Laurinaitis was born in Philadelphia on the 12th of September 1960. He stood 6 foot 1 inches tall and is reported to have weighed up to 145 kilograms or 320 pounds. Joe grew up in Minnesota, where he attended Irondale High School. He first started to lift weights and play football when he was 13 years old. A few years later, he began to do bodybuilding and powerlifting, which would ultimately lead him to start using the steroid Dianabol. Joe's large and intimidating figure would result in him getting a job as a bouncer at Grammar Bees in the Twin Cities, and it was while working there that Laurinaitis would catch the eye of bartender Eddie Sharkey, who was a well-known wrestling trainer who thought that he, along with several other bouncers at the club, could make it big in professional wrestling. While Joe was dubious of Sharky's idea, he still took part in a wrestling camp. A couple of weeks later, his pictures were seen by Ollie Anderson, who went to meet Joe one evening at Grammar Bees, where he made him a proposition to start wrestling. Laurinaitis made his wrestling debut in November 1982 using a biker gimmick competing as the Road Warrior. After only a few matches as a singles competitor, his career and life would change thanks to an idea from Paul Ellering. Paul decided to put Laurinaitis together with his good friend and training partner Mike Hegstrand and changed their names to Animal and Hulk, thus the Road Warriors were born. But how strong was Road Warrior Animal? And to answer that question I'll be comparing his squat bench press and deadlift to powerlifters of the 140kg or 308 pound weight class in which I think he would have competed. And we start with the squat. During an interview given to Men's Fitness in 2009, Joe claimed to squat 750 pounds for a triple with a best single of 765 pounds in knee wraps and a belt. If Joe could achieve a 347 kilogram or 765 pound squat with knee wraps to competition standards, as of today, he would be in the top 8% of male powerlifters in the 308 pound weight class. The squat is followed by the bench press, and referring back to the interview in Men's Fitness, Joe claimed a best raw bench press of 277 kilograms or 610 pounds. And just over a decade later in an interview with the Hannibal TV, shortly before he passed away, Joe said the following. I mean, I did like six and a quarter in the gym at one time. And I, I believe I could have probably did probably a 640, 650 maybe. The claim of a possible 650 pound bench press seems implausible given how close it was to the world record at that time. And even 625 pounds seems optimistic. But giving Joe the benefit of the doubt, a 625 pound raw bench press would place him in the top 0.2% of all powerlifters in his weight class. Completing a trio of lifts is a deadlift, and referring to the interview in Men's Fitness, Joe claimed the best raw deadlift of 336 kilograms or 740 pounds. And if Joe was able to do this lift without the use of straps, he would finish in the top 6.7% of powerlifters in the 308 pound weight class. Joe's squat bench press and deadlift combined to give a 966 kilogram or 2,130 pound total, which is the 55th highest of all time in his weight class. And such a total at his 140 kilograms or 308 pounds of body weight would calculate to give a coefficient of strength, measured in this case by the Wilkes score, of 540.06, which theoretically places Joe as an elite level powerlifter. But as well as the lift shown in the video, Joe also claimed to do cheat curls with 315 pounds and behind the neck press with 405 pounds for reps, both of which showed that he had great all-round strength that may have carried over to strongman during that time period. But I'd like to know your opinion, so please leave a comment below letting me know whether you believe Joe's claims and how you think he may have done in strongman. I've left credits and social media links in the description below, so please check those out and give them a follow. And finally, if you're thinking about getting your hormone levels checked and would like to help to support my channel, please see my affiliate links for Let's Get Checked in a pinned comment and description below. And use code UNIVERSE to get a 30% discount. Or alternatively, you can still help by simply hitting like, sharing a video, and if you haven't done so already, by subscribing. 
Thank you.